How's it going, everyone? This is Wimbo. Today we are going to have another quick Blender tutorials about lighting. I'm super excited about a new hair system in the Blender 3.3 Alpha. It's super amazing. I really appreciated Blender Studio. Andy's teams really allowed us to play with this amazing characters with the new feature of hair system. This is going to be the future, and I'm super pumped for what's coming. For those of you who are new to this channel, my name is Wimbo. I'm a professional photographer and a 3D artist, and I'm transferring my knowledge as a photographer into the 3D and using Blender to helping more graphic designers and product photographers to do running business using a Blender. In this tutorial, I'm going to use my lighting skill to really bring out more details, more characters from this existing model that Andy and Blender Studio are providing for us for free. So which also means this file is going to be free for you guys to access as well. I'm gonna put the link in the description. So I just wanna show you how I set up the light and why I'm doing this. And hopefully it's gonna help you to do more great lightings when you're rendering out your images for your characters, okay? As you can see here, we have three lighting collections and a bunch of cameras, different angles. So as you can see here, I already set everything up. The lighting source I use a little bit different. It is simply a emission shader and a image textures. You will have access to this image textures that I'm using as a lighting material. I also have a tutorial talking about different lighting materials in here, so I'm not gonna go over that too much. So first thing we can see here, I'm just gonna uncheck all these other cameras. The first scenes that this is kind of straight on camera scenes and I'm using the classic portrait look for this characters. And as you can see here, we have like two primary lighting source. One is for the, the main light, which actually casting all the shadow and the one is in the back. So I'm open up this collections. If I'm actually close this one, the back, as you can see here, we have quite a bit dark areas in the back because the lighting is not able to reach to the this area. So this is kind of, we need some little bit separation from the background. And uh, you will see all these final renders in a little bit more defined resolutions and in on my Instagram account. And for this, the main line, basically the reason I position over here is not something like random place. And as you can see here, I'm looking for a beautiful triangle underneath the other eyes. This is typically in the photography world, we call it Rembrandt lighting. So that's kind of the reason why I put it over here and trying to creating a kind of dramatic look. Uh, the eyes actually having some catch light sparkling from the, the light source. This is exactly what I want. The reason I have this is called a flag is basically it's just a black color plane and with roughness of one to trying to kind of block some light because I really don't want all the light spilling on his head and really kind of draw too much attention because for human beings, for our viewers, wherever is the brightest part is actually drawing uh, that tension too. And with beautiful shadow, uh, because think about the relativities about this light source, it's kind of big, it's quite a big light source for a human face. I also go over the relativities about lighting source and the subjects in one of my pro lighting courses on YouTube, so you will have access to go to there as well. And so this is the main reason I put position my main light over here. You can certainly play around with it. You can kind of do your own thing. You can change things around to getting a result that you want. Uh, and then we're just gonna having the backlight is just gonna getting some separations in the back. You can see that we have really pretty strong, but have actually kind of getting more details in define that the textures of this person's face. The reason you will see the background is, is kind of uh, transparent because I did set up for the render uh, settings that is going here and we're gonna go to the film. So actually I check the transparent on. If I don't do so, it's gonna be pure dark because it's considered with the, uh, the environment which is pretty dark. So this in this way, you can render out as a PNG file, and then you can change your background color to the whatever color you want accordingly. So this is why we do that, okay? So the next lighting, so 
and what we're going to do here is uh, lighting number two it'll have different type of view and uh, feeling and also I actually changed the camera angle to the profile photo uh, camera so it's actually from the side view so the best way to do I, I figured out is going to the the scene tab you actually have different cameras you can just change the camera to the profile photo so you can quickly change it around inside a blender to getting a pretty cool lighting now you might say well Wenbo I have seen the light lighting going on but I don't see the light it's simply because the light has been positioned it but we also change the object property and it is not visible for the camera because the light is super close to that subject so we can just check the thing off in order to not seeing in inside the camera so this is a pretty cool tricks that I often use to just get rid of that lighting resources but because it's relatively small and very close to the subject you can have a really beautiful light across that the characters kind of have softness but it also have pretty uh, defined uh, lightings going on in their characters so that's what I did and the other one the same here here is actually kind of getting some subtle fill to the from the back ends is gonna creating a gradient back to the neck to really form the shape from a highlight to a shadow okay so this is the reason for my lighting number two to getting that and then let's go to the lighting number three so going here and and then going here and I'm gonna change the camera angle from the profile to the to side view so basically it's from this angle and I'm gonna enable this camera as well so basically it's kind of giving that heroic kind of a feeling because we're looking up to this characters and make this person looks much stronger powerful and this is sometimes when photographers taking portraits for a person uh, we we tended to put this angle with certain characters or with dramatic look or CEO of the business or some kind of heroic characters in the story so when we're doing portraits so this thing you can use that as well kind of giving kind of a heroic kind of look and for the lighting uh, I can enable all these lighting to let's show you where they're at so directly you can see we have a light same thing here to kind of putting the uh, a light directly over here but I'm trying to kind of cutting the light toward uh, end over here to get it really gonna define the uh, edge of their characters face facial shapes and really bring out some details and the powerful looks of this kind of person you know and the other light is in the back so definitely is gonna filling some gaps in here because this characters have a lot of hairs and also this is one of the reason we are going to having this characters let us play uh, so I just want to emphasize of some textures of the hairs facial hairs of this characters which is really cool as well and pay attention because we have the the really beautiful lighting resources the the light sparking is not really like a solid color or solid white it's actually kind of diffuse i think it's kind of cool so this is all the three lighting setup that i'm actually created for this running this characters and feel free to play uh, with it on your own again i really appreciated andy and his blender studio team to really giving all of us uh, this type of file to really let us to play with the new hair system feature in the blender and uh, I think this is a great community and uh, hopefully my lighting setups are gonna help you guys to, to really bump up your rendering uh, skills from a different perspective, okay? And thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.